welcome back to the questions for revision today at this video we are seeing case study questions from selected topics the reference material of class 12 mathematics is available easily to all the students but the students are not able to gather necessary help because they need detailed explanation of the steps recollection of the concepts tips to do problems and tips to reduce errors the above needs is taken care of at this tutorial series revision as the name suggest means looking back over previously learned information and case study question from selected topic is compiled at this video the answers are given in pdf and video format take a print out of these questions before you start viewing this video this material is only a supplementary revision revision but the <clears throat> to the revision strategy is planned and executed by your experienced teacher to be used by you Question number one: A trustee is having a fund and two different bonds. First bond pay five percent interest, second seven percent interest. It wants to divide thirty thousand among two types, such that annual total interest is eighteen hundred. Based on this, you have to do two questions. And uh, already it has been given x and y are the amount invested in the first and the second. By the first condition, x plus y is equal to thirty thousand. By the second condition, total interest five percent plus seven percent, what it is eighteen hundred. Therefore, five x plus seven y is equal to this one. And uh, second question, write the system in matrix form. This also is uh, simple. We know how to convert it. Capital Y is the coefficient matrix. X is the variable matrix, and B is the RHS matrix. And I have expressed it. Find the value of x and y using matrix method. You know how to do it. X is equal to y inverse b. Y inverse is nothing but one by determinant y into adjoint y that is found over here. X is equal to y inverse b multiplied, and you got the answer as fifteen thousand and fifteen thousand. Question number two: Equation of the path traced by the roller coaster given by f of x. As the roller coaster crosses y-axis, the equation should be the function should be satisfied by this point i am substituting i am getting the value of as 1 by 27 now you got the function perfectly without area any unknown 1 by 27 into x plus 9 into x plus 1 into x minus 3 second question is find f double dash of x at x is equal to 1 for that i have to simplify this f of x to avoid the product rule expand it I am getting a cubic polynomial over here, and I am finding f dash of x. I am finding f double dash of x. I am putting x is equal to one. The answer twenty by twenty-seven. I am showing you the roller coaster how it moves in the curve, and this problem can be asked where it att attains the maximum, where it attains the minimum also. And you know how to do it by second derivative test. Oh, well, question number three: A tank is formed using a combination of cylinder and cone. Here the thing which you have to be very careful is the cone, conical part is full of water. Water is dripping out. That also you have to remember. Find the volume of the water in terms of radius r. And for that, there is a clue given in the question. The vertical angle is 45 degrees. Therefore, tan 45 is r by h, radius by height. Therefore, r is equal to h. Now you can get the volume in terms of radius. Now volume is. 1 by 3 pi r square h because it is the conical part only contains water therefore it is 1 by 3 pi r cube question number 1 volume of the water in terms of r is pi by 3 r cube question number 2 rate of change of radius when r is equal to 2 root 2 water is dripping out therefore dv by dr should be taken as minus 2 because it is dripping out decreasing volume formula already a do differentiating it I know what is dv by dr. Putting it, dr by dt I have found. They want what will happen when r is equal to two root two. I am substituting. I am getting minus one by four pi centimeter per second. This is the rate of change. <clears throat> Find the rate at which the wet surface is decreasing. What is the meaning of wet surface? Curved surface of the conical part. Yes, is the curved surface area pi r l. R square plus h square under square root, but R is equal to h. Substitute. 
the total equation now is in, in involving only r differentiate it and dr by dt is minus 1 by 4 pi already we have found substitute we got ds by dr i have to find at r is equal to 2 root 2 what is its value i have found it as minus 2 <coughs> Whenever you use the word decreasing, you should use only 2 cm square per second. Find the rate of change of height when slant height is 4. As height is given, I have to express volume in terms of height now. Again, I am making use of the idea that R is equal to H. Therefore, I got the volume now. Pi by 3 H cube. Differentiate. dV by dt is minus 2 already we know. Substitute. We got dH by dt. Now dH by dt is minus 2 by pi h square, slant height is L, I am substituting now, I am getting slant height as root 2 h, therefore I am substituting there dH, dH by dr I am finding and I am just finding it as minus 1 by 4. <coughs> a park is in the form of a circle, it is proposed to construct a parking area. Using integration, find the area allotted. I am finding the figure. From the figure, area of the required region is area bounded by the circle minus area bounded by the line. 0 to 3 from the circle minus y from the straight line. I am using the formula root a square minus x square formula and 3 minus x is very simple 3x minus x square by 2. Substitute the upper limit minus lower limit. I am getting the answer as 9 pi by 4 minus 9 by 2. <clears throat> this is a diagram for that. Question number 2. Total cost when uh, the rate per square unit is given. Area of the parking area found multiplied by 400. Two cars are running on a racing track represented by the two lines. Write the vector equation of the line in first car. Take the equation. Proper form. This is the vector equation. Very simple. If you know the point and direction ratio vector. Second subdivision. Find the direction cosines of the line in which the second car is traveling. For the second car, yes, it is in the standard form. Therefore, the direction ratios are 135. I can find the direction cosines as 1 by root 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square. 3 by root 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square. 5 by root 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square. The direction cosines are found. They want the shortest distance between the two lines and the lines are given but I will find out by using the vector method. Therefore, I am finding A1, A2, B1, B2 by converting them into vector form. A2 minus A1 I am finding. Then I am finding B1 cross B2. I am finding the magnitude of B1 cross B2. All are ready with me now. I have to find b1 cross b2 dot a2 minus a1 is coming as 0. Put it in the shortest distance formula, I am getting the answer as 0. What it indicate? The shortest distance between the line is 0, the lines may intersect. They may ask you comment on this. This is the 3D diagram for it. The line intersects. Okay. Question number 6. In a school, a survey was conducted. Height of the boys and girls were compared. 4% and 1% are taller. 60% are girls. Student is selected at random. Question number 1. Find the probability that the selected student is a boy. You have to first check the first experiment. It is selecting a student of the school. A is the event. Selected student is a boy. 60% are girls. Therefore, 40% are boys. Therefore, 40 by 100. Selected student is a girl. It is 60 by 100. We are, it is ready. Go to the second experiment. It is uh, observing that the height of the student E is the even that uh, student is more than 1.75. Now this E may be E slash A because the student whose height is more than 1.75 is a boy given as 4%. E slash A is 4 by 100. E slash B is the student whose height is more than 1.75 meter is a girl. Therefore it will be 1% 1 by 100. All are ready. Go to the question now using Bayes theorem. The probability that the selected student whose height is more than 1.75 meter is a boy. 
E is A slash E. Formula is known to you now. Substitute all the values over there. Then you will get it as 8 by 11. And uh, go to the second one. The probability that the selected student whose height is more than 1.27 meter is a girl. It is B slash E. Therefore, you got the answer as 3 by 11. Thank you, friends. Success is dependent on the efforts. All the best.